What's going on contenders? Today we're going to talk about defense and some of the top defensive mistakes. Now defense is one of the hardest aspects for beginner boxers because it's one thing to work on the bag and build up your punches and build up the combos. It's another thing when somebody starts punching at you. Getting used to dealing with their reaction is a whole other level of boxing. So in this video we're going to go over the top defensive mistakes that most people are making and to a certain degree how to fix them. But first if you want to support the channel hit the like button. That really helps a lot. Throw a jab at the like button. If you want to learn how to box check out precisionstriking.com. My instructionals are there. If you want boxing workouts, check out my other channel, Boxing Home Workouts. All the links are down below. Okay, the first problem that all beginners have when you see those punches coming at you, it's scary and it's a natural reaction. You close your eyes. It's a natural reaction for something to be in your face closing your eyes. A couple things that you can do to work on that. Number one is don't look at hands. Don't look at gloves. See, see this? You don't look at that. You look here. You look at the person. You look past the person's hands. An easy way to do that is you could get your own hand and, and put it up against your face. Look at something on the wall 10 feet away and look at it and touch your face and you'll see that you'll be less flinchy than if you actually get something and try to look and see that. So it's a small thing and it takes a while to break out that habit. But you want to look right here, right almost right through your opponent. You want to look forward. That's one thing. Second thing, of course, it, it's practice. I mean, you're not just going to get it. Just show up day one and get it. So you do want to get partners to throw light punches at you while you have your hands up. And you can even do this to yourself. Just a little bit. Look forward. Tap, 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 tap. Just to get a little bit used to that leather on the face. Okay? Of course, it's better if you have a partner. Better to build up to it. Get used to having the eyes open. You're not necessarily going to just jump right out into sparring and take big shots. So slowly build up to it. But the key for keeping your eyes open is awareness. Remind yourself as you're going and to focus through looking forward on the opponent up here. All right, number two. When a lot of beginners block, they tend to go like this. All right? And block their own vision. They can't see between their gloves. And they even hear when they do single blocks, they block their own vision. So you may block two punches and then all the hands come down. Boom. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. You don't know where the opponent is. So you don't want to block your own vision with your gloves. When you position your gloves, make those subtle changes here. So the elbows are in. Okay, my elbows are closed. Here. And then here, watch. Watch. My knuckles here. Right on my head. But look, see my wrist? See that bend in my wrist? I can see through that. Even if it's here, I can still see forward. So you have to make that distinction. Here's the thing. If you go like this, you're open up the middle. If you go like this, you can't see. It's this spot right in between here. Okay, here I can see. Look at this. I almost make a little heart shape with my hands, with my gloves. Here, press. Or I can go like this and see through here. You want that distance where a glove can't fit through. All right? Just enough. But you don't want to fully shut it down. A great drill for this. If you can get someone, get anyone, even just get, if you have a little sibling or someone, put the gloves on. Get your grandma to put the gloves on. Okay? And you just go like this. And get them to hit you a hundred times. You do nothing. You just stay here. And you just look at them. All you do is look through. Like you're looking through the binoculars. Alright? So that's the second one as well. Is blocking your own vision. Same thing with a single punch. Watch. Single punch comes in. You throw right hand. Here. Okay? I can still see forward. Not here. Now I'm done. Here. But this punch isn't going to hit me because it's coming like this. That glove isn't going to fit through. It doesn't take much. Okay? So work on being able to get your defense just right. Here is okay. Here, no. Now you're in trouble. You blocked your own vision. So make those subtle changes. Make those differences so you can get everything right and precise and then you won't block your own vision with your gloves. All right, number three, looking down. My old coach used to say, if you're looking down, that's where you're going to go. We start getting into trouble here and then we go like this. Okay, eyes are open, we're not blocking our vision, we're looking straight at the ground. And then you really don't know what's happening. You don't know if your opponent's beside you to the left, you don't know where they went. They could be just waiting right there like this. Boom. And again, like, is there a trick, a one trick? No, you gotta work on it. You gotta work on it with drills, you gotta work on it in sparring. But if you work on it on your own in shadow boxing, you can get yourself out of these bad habits faster. If you can work with partners and work it in shadow boxing with reminders, then you get in the habit of reminding yourself. So here you, you block around. Here comes the one, two, catch, cover. Here comes the one, two, three, catch, cover, block, right? You start getting in the habit of, oh, here comes the big right hand, boom, okay. Here comes the right hand, left hook. 
all right? You practice the behavior that you wanna show in sparring. You practice that. You start moving here. Imagine the onslaught, okay? And you start practicing what you want. It's not gonna maybe happen right away, but you will slowly get yourself out of these habits. You become aware of it. Give yourself little reminders. You're in sparring, okay? And then you start to look down. Remind yourself, am I looking up? Okay, okay. Right, it's all right. You have to have a little checklist in the beginning until these become instinctive habits. But looking down, big mistake, keep some awareness and you'll be out of that bad habit pretty soon. All right, number four. This is one a lot of people have, even more advanced boxers have. Holding your breath on your defense. We're all taught like, you know, shoo, 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 shoo. all right, like this. When you're defending, you're also exhaling. Here. Okay? The thing is, is that it doesn't matter exactly how your exhale is going, it's as long as you're not holding your breath. That's the key. If I go, ha, 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 ha. okay, if I start holding my breath, I can maybe get away with that once or twice. Three of holding your breath in a row and your breath is out of rhythm. You, do, you gotta exhale the air out, exhale the air out, then you gotta catch your breath so you can punch again, and then you're holding your breath again. You're gonna be out of gas in 45 seconds, all right, I guarantee you. So you have to exhale on your defense. You have to keep that air flowing. Let that air go, almost as if you're punching. It doesn't have to be as, as forceful, but the air has to keep flowing. Work on that in your shot boxing. Let that air flow. That's why I've had a ton of videos on Working on your defense is a separate thing. They usually don't, they're usually not well received, but this is the most important thing that you guys need is work on your defense. Get that air flowing, even on your defense, don't hold your breath. All right, next one is back here. Not moving your feet with your defense. A lot of us are tucked to block, and then we stand there like this, and then we become a heavy bag for the opponent. You've gotta move your feet with your defense. Here, I go like this, someone's gonna throw a jab, start simple, here. I catch it and I fade away. Here, okay, they throw the jab right hand. Here, see how I move both feet. Catch block. See here, catch block. They throw the jab right hand, left hook, catch block. Here, and then I turn. It can get even more fancy. Let's say they throw the jab, you throw the jab. Here, I move back. You throw the right hand, I wanna move that way. I block, I move my foot out, but I block here. Then the left hook comes, I'm already this way. Okay, and it's easy to get out. An excellent drill that you can work to get your feet and your hands working together is this, watch. Block, 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 okay? I can start to move around everywhere. Here, block, 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 block. Block, 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 block. Same foot, same hand. You get into that kind of rhythm. Can't pivot off. All right? You can even move forward as well. Somebody throws the right hand, I move forward, I stuff the shot. Boom. Okay, you come in with a counter. So get used to moving your feet as well with your defense, not just holding and standing still and blocking. Get used to it. Okay, this is the number one way to absorb shots and get yourself out of trouble, feet and hands together. All right, next one is on the counter punching side. It's bad habits, not bringing the hands back after you punch, here. All right, I'm open for a counter, boom, here. Right, here, like this, hands down. You gotta get in these proper habits, here. Right, all right, getting the hands to come back to the chin after you punch, making sure they're not down. Good offensive habits work in your defense. So you could say that you know, a good offense is, is the best defense as long as your offense is technically sound. Make your offense technically sound, make it defensive. Here, you throw that jab, you bring it back. Now, okay, now you're not far away, right? You throw this right hand, you bring it down here, and these are habits you gotta work on. The drill is this, punch, I feel it. Punch, I feel it. Punch, I feel it. Punch, I feel it. Punch, okay, I feel it. All right, get into that habit. Get in the habit of making good offensive habits make your defense a lot better. All right, final one. 
You see a lot of people shadow boxing. You see I've been doing these review videos. One thing I don't talk about too much is you can't throw it all at everyone. Most people have no exit plan. It means that they assume that when they're done punching, everything is just fine. Nobody's gonna come back at them with anything. You have to assume that somebody's coming back at you all the time, every time, right? Here, one, two, three. I cover, I get out right away. Something's coming back. Here, one, two, I duck and I go. One, two, three, slip. One, two, three, block, all right? I'm assuming every time that they're gonna do something. Here, one, two, I get out, all right? Have an exit plan. This is the easiest way I catch beginners. I let them punch, let them punch, they punch and then pop. They're right there. You don't have to do any work. With the beginners, just punch and then they're there and then hello. So build an exit plan into everything all the time. <laughs> right? <laughs> Block. <laughs> Block. All right, put it together. Exit plans. That's defense built right into your offense. All right, you guys. Seven common mistakes I see. There's no one magic trick. You do have to work on it. Work on it in your shadow boxing. Reminders, be aware, aware of what's going on. Be aware of your focus, be aware of your position, be aware of your habits. Get partners to punch at you lightly. Work on the patterns, all right? But working on the patterns while knowing what to work on and knowing what your problems are, are gonna get you to fix your problem that much faster so it's no longer a factor in your boxing. All right, you guys, don't forget to check out precisionstriking.com. Also, make sure to check out my other channel, Boxing Home Workouts. Links below. Remember to hit that like button for me. I need that. Hit that like button for me right now. In the meantime, keep your hands up, chin down, eyes on the prize. Peace.